of Standardised Patients at Scale, How the Web is Transforming Simulation in Psychiatry. Please welcome to the stage, Jennifer Dorr. Welcome, Jennifer. So making mistakes and learning from them is not only a lesson that we teach our children, but it's also part of the culture here in Silicon Valley. Fail fast, fail often. But this is a lesson that's really hard to incorporate into medical education because when we learn, uh, we learn with real patients who are in distress, they're sick, and they deserve the quality of care that trainees, especially those just starting out, can't possibly give just from learning from a textbook. So there's a big gap from the textbook and the classroom to being with an actual patient. My name is Dr. Jennifer Doerr. I'm a practicing psychiatrist here in Palo Alto. I'm adjunct clinical faculty here at Stanford, and I'm the co-founder of a project called Pathos. Pathos seeks to revolutionize how we bring clinical experience to all of those who are diagnosing and treating mental illness. We've created a virtual environment in which it's safe to fail fast and fail often. Okay, so let's face it, diagnosis is hard, but psychiatric diagnosis is even more difficult because all we have to go on is the information, is the communication. We have to ask the right questions, we have to get the right answers all in a short period of time so that we can make accurate treatment recommendations. And the psychiatric clinical interview, um, that's the procedure. And it's a procedure that all mental health professionals need to be able to practice and to master. Most patients with mental illness, they'll never see a psychiatrist. Actually, if they feel comfortable at all speaking about their symptoms, uh, they'll talk to their primary care physician. But the fact is that primary care physicians or general practitioners, they only get it right about 50% of the time. A study in Lancet in 2009 showed that only 47.3% of the time did the general practitioners correctly identify depression in patients. We need to do better than that because the consequences of misdiagnosis and non-diagnosis are really serious. Uh, what happens to the other 50%? Well, these patients are losing years of life. Uh, they're suffering from premature morta mortality. And the total medical costs of patients who have undiagnosed depression and happen to have diabetes are 50 to 75% more. Um, and these patients are falling victim to medication errors. So how do we fix this problem? Well, of course, technology offers a solution, and simulation more specifically. So Pathos is a web-based simulation that allows clinicians to conduct an entire psychiatric clinical interview with a virtual patient. This is one of our virtual patients. This is Nina. She comes in with low mood, difficulty in, um, in concentrating. And as a clinician, you can enter the simulation and you can talk with her. Uh, advances in uh, video serving technology, artificial intelligence, and machine learning have made this possible. And Pathos has a patent pending um, algorithm that allows the clinician to dynamically interact with the patient. So you can go in, you can ask Nina any question that you want, um, conduct an, an entire clinical interview, um, and at the end of 20 minutes, uh, you can make a diagnosis. And then the simulator will come back and it will tell you actually if you have enough information to actually make that diagnosis because psychiatric diagnosis is pretty complex. You, there's a lot of criteria that you have to meet. Um, and this is a, a fabulous opportunity to get this kind of feedback. You don't, you don't get this when you're treating real patients and you don't get this when you're in the classroom. So not only can you conduct an entire clinical interview, uh, but you can give the patient medications and Nina will respond to the medications. You can see if she improves, you can see if she deteriorates, you can see side effects, um, and you can interact with her over time. So we took this technology, this uh, mental health simulation, and we tested it out at four different institutions, UT Southwest, UCSF, Stanford, Columbia, and we saw what, uh, how psychiatric residents performed and how they liked it, and the preliminary results were really exciting. There was an emotional engagement between the, the user and the virtual patient, um, and the, the psychiatric residents really felt that it helped them to make better evidence-based diagnosis. So I really like this quote by Charles Kettering. He says, experience is not merely the best teacher, but it's the only possible teacher. We need to be able to get more experience in this. Medical, in, in all different fields of medicine, we're using simulation, but we're not, we're not using it in psychiatry. And uh, we need to, because we need to get better at this. Not only do we need to use it with trainees who are learning to be psychiatrists, but uh, with practicing 
doctors like myself to test out new medicines, to see different patients that maybe we haven't seen before. Maybe it's been a long time since our training. Um, in psychiatry, the clinical interview is the moment of truth, and if we can get this right, um, we can really help the 40 million Americans who are suffering from mental illness. Thank you.